Hello everybody, this is Will from RogueDatabase.net and we're going to be exploring the Windows Registry and a lot of different things about it. The Windows Registry is basically a database that stores configuration settings and options on Windows operating systems. Um, it will also contain many uh, basically database configurations and whatever for um, different types of software and just about anything. You, your computer can't work without the registry. The registry is stored in the user folder for the user's registry and in the system folder for the whole system registry. Uh, we're going to be looking at hijack this just as a window into the Windows registry and where everything is in relation to what hijack this shows to get a start on things. So we'll scan here and we get some results that come up. But those aren't quite the results we're looking for because these don't list all of the hijack this options. So I'm going to go over those with you right now. The first one, the first segment is R O R one R two R three and that's going to be the first thing you see in a log if they are present and that specifies the Internet Explorer start and search pages URLs so if Google is your start page Google is going to be listed as a I believe an R1 um, we're going to look in depthly at all of these later and get a deeper sense of where the actual keys behind them are, the registry keys that hijack this is looking at. Uh, the next hijack this, uh, the next thing in a hijack this log is auto loading programs. These are going to auto load under certain uh, specific um, loading p pieces of the operating system. So stuff like under the shell value. Uh, which is usually explored IDXE, stuff that loads under the user init value, uh, stuff that loads under the operating system components that are supposed to be only the operating system loading. So those are definitely good to get rid of. Um, the next thing, and these are kind of kind of rare, is N1, N2, N3, and N4 entries. These are Netscape, Mozilla, Start, uh, and then search pages URLs used by those browsers. So those are going to be a little bit rare. You're not going to see them as much, and they're rarely a problem. Um, O1s are the host file. These will show you potential host file redirects or sites that shouldn't be in the host file. Um, O2s is going to scan for browser helper objects so if you have something that's causing redirects in Internet Explorer and the cause of it is a, a little browser helper object you will see it show up here. Uh, O3s are toolbars for Internet Explorer so ask.com toolbar would show up here. O4s are much more common you'll see these in every single log and these are uh, basically the standard loading keys that hijack this is scanning. O5s uh, through, o, through uh, O7s are basically restrictions on uh, the computer so O5 is an IE options icon not visible in control panel O6 is an IE options access restricted by administrator, regedit access restricted by administrator is 07, oh, and then we move on to 08, which is extra buttons in IE button toolbar. Um, O10s, we have two here. These are VMware WinSock providers, and this is the WinSock LSP, which is an, a networking component, and not this will just show this will show everything except the default uh, Windows Winsock. O11s 
are an extra group in the Internet Explorer Advanced Options window. O12s are IE plugins. O13s are IE default prefixes that are potentially hijacked or changed. Um, O14s are the reset web settings hijack. Uh, and then O15s are unwanted sites in the trusted zones. And then O16s we have one here. These are ActiveX objects that are loaded into the router browser. Uh, and this one is Windows Update, so you see anything of that there. O17 relates to LOP infections. Uh, you'll see LOP.com domain hijackers there. O18s are extra protocols and potential protocol hijackers. O19s are going to be user style sheet hijacks, so that's sort of things that are messed up. Those are pretty rare. O20s are relating to app init DLLs. That's a type of key for loading um, loading anything early. So any malware could put itself in with the winlog on notify key or the app init DLL um, value and be loaded as the operating system before the operating system is even you know booting to the desktop so that's a way for malware to get loaded really early um, and then we have let's see we have let me try to remember this we have a uh, O21s, which is SSODLs, um, and that's Shell Service Object Delay Load, and those are going to be a different type of service that can load up on the system startup. Then you have O22s, which is Task Scheduler Startup um, Items, then O23s are basically services for the computer. Those are the services that are used that are not the operating system services. So we'll display Microsoft stuff here. And then O24 is Windows Active Desktop Components which is kind of an XP thing and that will show you any uh, active desktop any parts of the active desktop that are loaded which could potentially be alerts or whatever that malware is displaying on your desktop. So in the next video we're going to look a little deeper into these individually and look at the keys behind them and how the keys work and how the keys load the files. So I'll see you in part two of this series.